Hi everyone, I'm Brittany. I'm a child and family portrait photographer in the Pacific Northwest. I decided to create this video because I've gotten a lot of requests asking for a tutorial on how to achieve these magical shadow puppet photos. We'll be making a simple tint with a white sheet to start. All we use to make our tint is a table. If you don't have a table to use, then chairs will do just fine. We use a flat white sheet for the front, but first we put two thick blankets on the sides to prevent spill light. After you have a blanket on each side, place your sheet in the front of the tent, and you want to make sure that it's nice and straight with minimal ripples in the middle. We keep the back of the tent open so that we have access to position our models and the light as well. Now we'll talk about lighting. A flashlight or even your cell phone flashlight on high will be all you need. Lean it against anything at the back of your tent, facing towards the front. Make sure it's on ground level so that it will illuminate the entire tent. When you're positioning, you want to make sure that they're sitting parallel with the sheet. The key to good shadows is you want to position them as close to the sheet as possible, but without actually touching the surface so that it stays nice and smooth. Okay, now we'll talk about camera settings. My camera is positioned on a tripod about 5 feet from the front of the tent. I'm shooting with my 2470 lens at 24 millimeters. How far your camera is from your tent is totally up to you. I like to have a lot of space left around my tent so that I can easily add star overlays in Photoshop. My shutter speed is set at 1 100th. I'm using an aperture of 2.8 and an ISO of 3200. Now just have the kids play with their toys and have fun with it. Okay, now it's time to edit our photo. Here is a raw image. Um, I always start by cropping first. I like to leave a lot of space, once again, to add my star overlay. I always add a small preset, small 01, to all of my photos. I'm going to go ahead and add the exposure here. Now I'll change the temperature and the tint. I like mine a little bit on the warmer side, but of course that's personal preference. And then I'm going to just kind of play around with um, the other settings. I like to make my tent pretty bright, so I like to up the highlights a little bit. Um, so the small preset automatically lowers them, so I like to bring those back up a little bit. And I like to darken my blacks and my shadows so that they stand out a lot more. And I also like to use the dehaze slider. I'm going to add some noise reduction, so I'm going to up the luminance and make sure that the grain slider is all the way down. going to change these settings, just kind of tweak them to exactly how you want them before we take it into Photoshop to add the overlay. These are the overlays I'm using. I got them from Paper Farms on Etsy. It comes with a lot of different options. I personally am going to use the Twinkle Stars for mine. Okay, now I'm in Photoshop and I have my star overlay open as well as my tint image. I'm going to go back to my star overlay and I'm going to click Control A on my keyboard to select, Control C to copy, go back to my tint image, Control V to paste, and Control T to select and move the overlay to where I want it. So just adjust it to how you like, and then click the check mark. Now I'm going to change my blending mode from normal to lighten. Screen also looks good, it just depends on your preference, and take the opacity down a little bit if you'd like. And then go to your eraser, and just simply start erasing the stars that you don't want in your image. And that's it! Just go ahead and save your image, and you're done!
I can't wait to hear your feedback and see what you create after watching this tutorial. I look forward to making more videos, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel.